another episode of Moments with Murph with me, Murph. So today, I got a fun topic with a fun guest. Again, she's new to me. Probably better a few mm-hmm. days ago. Introduce <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Go ahead. Hi, I'm Terry. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Terry Says So. That's T E R R I, Terry with an I, not a Y. Say it so on Instagram. Isn't like Terry with a Y? Like, yes, boy and name? I hate when people spell it like that. Right, like, so, I'm a girl, it's Terry with an I. Yeah, yeah guys, spell it with a Y. It's a please name. don't, please so, don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, no, no, she's real cool though. For, for those who don't know, because I definitely yes. lied. So One of his bestest, bestest like friends. Best. <sighs> I had to throw that in there because he wasn't going to tell yeah. y'all. Because, <laughs> like, what, were you, what type of friends are you going to like? Six yeah. years? Seven years? Very, very long so, time. Somewhere very long time. And for some reason, I keep trying to get rid of her. I'm here. Around, so I guess I'm always going to be here. She's meant to be here. Like that foot fungus so, you can't get rid of. Ew. <laughs> but way less hey, no, fungus my problem. Way less fungus but yeah. that, that probably wasn't a good comparison, but it was not a good comparison. <laughs> I rather you said like white on rice, like that'd have been a little solid. I mean, you can still cover the white up, just throw some soy sauce. Yeah, like Damn. I can get corny, like you rice. know, like peanut butter to the jelly, SpongeBob to Patrick, but that's too corny, so I ain't gonna get that corny. So white on rice was good. I'm gonna leave it at that. I mean, you could you just eat from your character trait, so whatever. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. So <clears throat> our topic today, we're going to get into independent women. So I just thought this topic is kind of interesting. Plus, it'll be great to talk about independent women with an actual woman instead of just me talking about it. Because y'all are going to hear kind of a biased side. You'll hear both sides. I know I'm neutral, but you'll hear a biased side. So this way you can hear two sides and one being the opposite gender. I think what? Gender. Who knows? But <laughs> what you say? So we're gonna get into it. Yes. What did I say? What did you hear? You better be lucky we over this phone and this a recording. <laughs> it's actually important to me. Like, I don't understand it. I'd be so nice. No, to not nice at all, y'all. But we're not like, we're not getting into it because that can be a whole nother. I topic swear about, about how mean Murphy is to his it. friends, like. And I don't know how Murphy even has as many friends as he has, because Lord, I I, yo, we like, need like suffering, person, which, like we need payment for our man. suffering being Murphy friend. I hear how we try to talk about one topic. You're you right. You're right. You see what I mean, guys? She's just like all over the place, but she's still here, so maybe she's good. Okay. Who knows? So, <laughs> so we're gonna talk about independent women. So let's start with. A definition of an independent woman, and this is one of the, this is the top definition, yeah, this is now the top definition of an independent woman off the Urban Dictionary. So we have, an independent woman is a woman who pays her own bills, buys her own things, and does not, she has been capitalized, allow a man to affect her stability or self-confidence. She supports herself on her own entirely and is proud to be able to do so. Mm, Y'all heard what they said. Don't need a man for nothing. That is like the best definition of an independent woman. Period. I'm not going to lie. I I really like that one. Like it, it definitely reads. I mean, clear cut. I'm saying, would you, would you agree with that definition? I like that definition because we, that's a, that's, that's definitely what an independent woman is. She can pay her own bills. She can drive her own car. She goes to her own house. She don't need a man for nothing. That's a good definition. Yeah, pretty solid. That's pretty solid. I'm going to say beforehand, because I had read this definition like a couple of days ago, and like I didn't agree with that one because it really was talking about accountability. But that one, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to say, because like, yeah, independent woman, yeah, she mm-hmm. handles her business. Like, Period. Like she gets to it, no questions asked. She doesn't need someone to tell her to do it because she knows what needs to be done. Exactly. However, there are some some instances into that, but we'll get into that. So, so me personally, if like if I ever met an independent woman, like I personally have not. <laughs> like well, I would say from like 
a relationship standpoint because yeah like a lot of ones that like, i met are kind of like very very dependent like they they need that motivation or they need like that that leg to lean on like or that shoulder to lean on like that like have you no. been that type? hell no not me um oh, you just- i ain't gonna i'm an independent woman yes i am but I don't want to, it's not really based on materialistic things, like, you know, the own house, the own car, because like you said, being an independent independent woman, you know, I don't need a man, you know, just to be there to depend on, 